Let's fight back now. Nigerians, youths, call me when you are ready for protest. San Falano urges Tinubu to allow Nigerians protest against economic hardship. Oh boy. So now, this, uh, uh, Falano now, I don't clear. I've been talking about Tinubu right from the beginning because of his certificate scandals and all of the things around him. He did not say anything. Now, it is getting clear to everybody that this government has nothing to offer. Now, with his activism still in mind, he has now called on Nigerians and the youth to protest against economic hardship and has warned Tinubu to allow Nigerians to protest against the economic hardship and that they should call him anytime the protest is ready, that he is ready to lead it. <laughs> wow, this is a new dawn, I tell you. Human rights lawyer Femi Falano San has called on the President Bola uh, Tinubu led government to allow citizens to protest against the worsening economic condition in Nigeria. Speaking on Chinese TV's politics today, on Tuesday, Falano argued that it is the right of Nigerians to express themselves through protest. Okay, <laughs> it will be difficult for Tinubu uh, government to pay. 100,000 minimum wage because 26 states governors can't pay current at 3,000. That's what they're saying. So, Falano cited section 84, subsection 3 of the Police Establishment Act 2020, which states that the police shall provide security for the participants in such a protest. Falano urged President Tinubu to address the grievances of Nigerians instead of reading political meanings into demonstrations. He emphasized that it is the duty and right of Nigerians to express themselves either through protest or writing articles. Hmm. His comment comes after the arrest and subsequent release of citizens who protested against the economic hardship in Mina, Niger State. Yes, those women were arrested by police and they later run, they had to go release them unconditionally because they were protesting for their right. So Falaro's stance highlights the importance of citizens' right to protest and the need for the government to address the complaints of his people. So it remains to be seen how President Tinubu and his administration will respond to this concern and whether they will take steps to alleviate the economic hardship faced by the Nigerian people. Okay. So now that Falano has called on Nigeria to protest and has also warned Tinubu led government to allow Nigerians to protest, to express themselves through protest or through writing articles. Okay. And also has uh, made reference to section 84 of Nigerian Police Act of 2020, which stipulates that citizens are allowed and have the right to protest against, uh, you know, uh, again, uh, to, to protect their grievances. So with this now, I just hope police will learn because Buhari's government did not allow this. And uh, it was after Jonathan government that uh, we had, it was before Jonathan government or during Jonathan government that we had free protest. In fact, after Jonathan government, when APC entered 2015, we never had free protest any day. The worst of all was the 2020, October 20, uh, during the NSAS protest that they had to kill almost uh, a lot of people that were involved in that protest, youths that were unarmed, were killed by the military. Quite unfortunate. So Nigeria is drifting into the territorial uh, state, but I just know that it's all for the moment. It's not going to be forever. So now Falano has called on government to allow Nigerians to protest. They are calling on everybody to come and protest. The economic hardship does not know big man, does not know small man. Everybody is feeling the pain. And what can we do? We must turn the government to their face because the government is saying people should sacrifice, but they themselves are not sacrificing. They are looting the federal treasury every day and they want Nigeria to sacrifice. Hey, not go work. And it's okay. Somebody is saying here in the comment section, we're not, we're, we're not protesting. Too many of youths have been killed and no justice is served. Let you, our mothers and fathers, come out, then we will join. We won't be used as guinea pigs again. 
<laughs> well, that is your opinion. Nigerians are clearly ready to protest. Do Nigerian youths call you to participate in those previous protests against former President Goodluck Jonathan? They didn't call you, yes. You started it in your own way. So Nigerian youths are only good for protest, Abi. <laughs> now it's more one. This is Falano, not Peter Obi. So if this is Falano, not Peter Obi, what do we what do we mean? Before okay, before they start shouting Peter Obi now, meanwhile, it is not Peter Obi. Because everything until they put Peter Obi's name, they will not rest. Okay? And there's uh, somebody saying we are ready. Okay, oh, if you are ready, then let's begin to move. Let someone lead it. Let everybody come out en masse and uh, do the needful. Hmm. Now, uh, so with the way things are now, Nigerians, of course, the protests have started anyway because well, what has happened in Kano, what has happened two times in Niger State, what has happened in uh, uh, taking Oshu State, Imo State, and Ogun State, and even Lagos State show that the strike, the protest is building tension, is building momentum. And at a point, very soon, it's going to just explode across all the 36 states and the FCT, where the government will not be able to stop it. The only thing they can do, they will start running around, quata, 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 and they will start using police and tear gas to disperse protesters. But put, the pro people have right to protest. So long they are not killing anybody, they are not violent, people have right to protest. The only time you can come in is if there's violence and things have been destroyed. Okay. Situation now is out of hand and everybody is feeling the pain. Dangote is losing money. Okay. Otedla is losing money. The young, the small Nigerians cannot even see food to eat. Security is bad. Uh, transport system is bad. Electricity is bad. Water is bad. Hospital is bad. Right now, Asu is getting ready to go on strike. The Nigerian nurses have protested what they are doing to them. Uh, medical doctors are not finding it easy. Hospitals are not getting it easy. So, uh, Nigerian Association of, uh, National Association of Nigerian Students has warned government against uh, what is going on and giving them 14 days ultimatum, which is counting. NLC and TUC has also given them 14 days ultimatum, which is counting. So, I just hope that at the end of the day, we will have result in all of this. But the truth remains that this in Nigeria now is drifting into anarchy gradually. That anarchy, that revolution, they think it will not happen, is drifting into it gradually, and it's just a matter of time, everything will explode. So let the government know that there's a limit to which they can suffer Nigerians, because when it will blow, it will blow, and they will not be able to contain it. So that is the state of the country, and that is position of Falano calling on Nigerian youth and Nigerians entirely to come out and protest and call him when they are ready, and also calling on uh, President Tinubu led the uh, federal government to allow Nigeria to protest their grievances. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.